Hello everyone, welcome to part 3 of my Ancestry adventure. What I'm about to share with you is the actual video I shot when I accessed my 23andMe uh, Ancestry results for the first time. And then in part 2, I included a little excerpt from a conversation I had with my cousin, a cousin on my mother's side, right after I uh, found out the results. When I originally recorded this, the audio for the microphone had a little malfunction, so it's not as clear, the quality isn't as clear as I would have liked, so I've included captions to help you get through it, but uh, please forgive me and the next time it'll be much better. Now before I get into this, let me also share a few administrative things. First, if you have any questions, comments, requests for videos, or um, questions about what it's like to be Jamaican on Saipan, Jamaican in China, Jamaican in uh, Vietnam, Thailand, all the places I've been. Please leave your question in the comments section below. I do read all the comments and I'll reply to any uh, as necessary. And if you do enjoy this video, please click the thumbs up icon, give it a like, also subscribe. Uh, so you'll get notified of other videos that I release and also share it with friends so I can grow the channel. So with that said, uh, let's get into it. Alright, I'm going to start with Ancestry. There are two options. One says start with Ancestry, the other says start with Health and Traits. I'm going to do Ancestry. Alright, your DNA suggests your anxious Ancestry is 59.7% Nigerian, with ties to six other populations. Okay, I'm going to read that again, so I can savor all of this. Your DNA suggests your ancestry is 59.7% Nigerian, with ties to six other populations. Okay, then there's a relative list. Relatives list, they are 61% more likely to have a gap between their two front teeth, uh, which I did <laughs> um, when I was growing up. I had braces, so that gap is gone now, but uh, at one point the doctor had suggested, or the orthodontist had suggested a phrenectomy, never forgot that word, uh, to remove the uh, cartilage between the teeth to close the gap, but ultimately no, we didn't do that, but the braces, um, but the braces actually closed the gap over time. Okay, 96% of your relatives have British and Irish ancestry, which is to be expected. Jamaica was a British colony up until 1962. Okay, so we are going to start with the ancestry composition view report. 59.7% Nigerian. Okay, so as it says here, Sub Saharan African 93.3%, which is to be expected. West African 91.8%, uh, probably Ghanaian. It says here mostly Nigerian, well, that's interesting. So I'm doing some research into Nigeria, see what more I can learn about that. But I think most Jamaicans believe that we uh, have more Ghanaian uh, than anything else. But according to this, I have Ghanaian, Liberian, and Sierra Leonean blood, 29.3%, and broadly West African, 2.8%, Congolese and Southern East African, 1.5%, Angolan and Congolese, 1.5%. Now, European, I have 6.3% European. That's 6.3% European. Uh, Northwest European is 6.1%. And within that group, there is British and Irish, 2.9%. French and German, 1.1%. Scandinavian, 0.6%. Broadly Northwest European, 1.5%. Broadly European, 2.2%. Uh, Right. Recent ancestry in the Americas. We found evidence of your ancestry in the following locations. People from these regions can often trace their ancestry to different historically separate populations. Uh, now this is really interesting because I absolutely know this 
my grandmother's from St. Elizabeth in Jamaica and sworn it says here that uh, I have a bloodline from St. Elizabeth Parish in Jamaica and also Barbados. And I know that because my grandfather on my father's side was from Barbados, Charles Frederick Goodridge. And let's see, I also have some um, Panamanian, which is to be expected. A lot of Panamanians ended up in Jamaica and vice versa. Cologne province in Panama. And this was updated June 6, 2021. That was just yesterday. All right, so to recap, let's see, I have 93.3% Sub-Saharan African, um, which, uh, of which 59.7% is Nigerian and 29.3% is Ghanaian. Really interesting. And 6.3% European. All right, let's see what we can find here. We detected traces of the following populations in your DNA. Read more about trace ancestry in your FAQ. Egyptian, 0.2%. And this is something I was looking forward to. Uh, broadly Chinese and Southeast Asian, I have 0.1% um, history. Uh, I mean, ancestry coming from Southeast Asia. So, which might explain why. I'm drawn to that part of the world. It's a small percentage, but uh, that's why we have the Jamaican in China YouTube channel. Well, the Chinese and Southeast Asia. All right. So, essentially, what I was expecting, uh, I was actually surprised by the St. Elizabeth, how specific they could get to the St. Elizabeth Paris in Jamaica and Barbados, which might mean that other people I know have taken the test and I might be able to locate some relatives, maybe more than likely on my grandmother's side, and she was from St. Elizabeth, the Golden family in Jamaica. All right, so I'll take some time to digest this, but I guess the most surprising thing uh, was the percentage of Nigerian compared to Ghanaian. So I'm 59.7%, more than half uh, Nigerian. So I'll have to do some research on that. Let's see what else we can find. Scientific details. All right. That gives some information on um, how the results were obtained. Alright, let's see. So the summary, that's pretty interesting. Alright, I'll take a pause now and then I'll check out the health and traits and see what my control. Hello, you sound awake. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I got my um 23 and me results back. Are you ready? <laughs> All right. Um, it turns out that I'm 93.3% Sub-Saharan African, which, which is to be expected. Now that, that breaks down to West African, 91.8%. And, right. And then that breaks down to this. Now this was the part that I find uh, interesting I don't want to say surprising, but I never really expected it. Nigerian, 59.7%. <laughs> right. The next set is 29.3%, and that is comprised of Ghanaian, Liberian, and Sierra Leonean. And then, then broadly West African, without a degree of specificity, is 2.8%. So, so in West Africa, it breaks down to 59.7 Nigerian, 29.3 Ghanaian, and 2.8 broadly West African. And then, me neither. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Interesting. Now, I wonder how much of that. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> if I do it in free time, I might be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to have to join them. You know, this, will provide, this, will, this will provide loads of uh, jokes. Um, let's see. Oh, European. 6.3. Yeah, let me finish this. I'm sorry. 6.3% European. Um, right. Um, oh, oh, this is, this will blow your mind. Um, there's another section called Recent Ancestry in the Americas. And then we, we found evidence of your ancestry in the following locations. People from these regions can often trace their ancestry to different historically separate populations. In the Caribbean, they have, to, they have determined that I have a connection to, to people in St. Elizabeth Parish. <laughs> yep, isn't that interesting? And Barbados. And Barbados. Which, that's my father's side, that's my grandfather, right? So this is real, it's cool just to see the, valid, the valid, validation. Right, right, right. And then they also say Mexico and Central America. I have connections to people in Cologne province, Panama. I know there is a lot of. Okay, okay. Okay. So, yep, yeah, yeah that, that was the other thing that surprised me the fact that they could kill it down to Central, which is your grandmother's problem, right? <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Um, you know, I have to tell you away. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, man. All right. Okay, hold on. Let me do that now. Let me see if I can just copy it. As opposed to screenshot. Okay. So just give me two minutes, and then I'll I'll send you what I see here on the screen. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, later.